Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the scrapbooking and planning diva, here with my thick and juicy, gigantic, humongous home life planner. She is in her Halloween finery with these villains on the cover. Definitely feeling this cover for spooky season. But today is going to be a really fun and exciting video. It's actually um, going to be a scrapbooking video. So as planners, we definitely love to scrapbook and memory keep and journal in our planners. Our planners are, are not only, you know, a planner, but they're also a journal and a scrapbooking situation. So today we're going to be setting up some scrapbooking pages in my home life planner. I used to want to keep like my scrapbooking separate from my planning but it just made more sense to put it all together and so I try to treat my home life planner kind of like my journal slash planner and I just really like you know that approach to planning so I've actually already set up the pages here in my October section because I'm going to be scrapbooking about a trip that I took to Texas in mid October early October I went to Texas I went to Austin to see my partner Steven Hi Steven, if you're watching this, he sometimes watches my videos, but he never comments. So I went to go see my boyfriend Steven in Austin, Texas, and then we took a little road trip to New Mexico to check out the Carlsbad Caverns National Park, and then we drove south an hour to Guadalupe Mountains National Park, and it was a really, really fun um, road trip, and I had a great time. So I cut out some scrapbook paper um, and I tucked it here after the last week in October. I usually tend to kind of memory keep and scrapbook on this like monthly overview page, but I'm not sure what I wanna do with this page yet. So I'm just gonna leave it blank because I have way too many photos and stickers and postcards and other scrapbooking material um, to fit just on this page here. So I cut out some scrapbook paper I'm probably gonna just leave this like this. I don't want to cover it up, but I glued some scrapbook paper on the back in the super cute print. So we're gonna be um, adding a bunch of ephemera and scrapbooking stuff on these pages. And I think it turned out really, really cute. So I have five big pages for me to scrapbook on. It's a lot of room. I don't know if I'm gonna use all this room. I might just use, you know, these two pages and then leave this page for something else. We shall see, but I wanted to cut it out just in case I needed some more room. And I have with me a bunch of stickers and postcards that I got um, during my vacation. So I have a bunch of postcards from Carlsbad Caverns and Guadalupe Mountains National Park. I also have a bunch of photos that I've printed out um, from my trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what I wanna include in this. And I have some scrapbook paper um, stuff that is kind of road trip themed. So I have a bunch of that cut out already and more postcards. Oh, this isn't, I'm gonna put those away. I have more postcards. I definitely wanna use these. So I've kind of set them aside. I have this Latina sticker. I don't know, I'm not sure if I'll use this in this um, spread, the scrapbooking, but I did get this sticker while I was in Austin at the Mexa Arte Museum. I have some travel stamp stickers. I've already put these in my travel stamp book, but I wanted to use this little description sticker down here in my spread, so I have those. I have the super cute Concha sticker. I don't think I'm gonna use this though either. I have more Carlsbad Cavern stickers. I have this Aztec calendar sticker that I got at that Mexa Art the Museum in Austin, but I don't think I'm gonna use this one because I kind of want this to be just like road tripping theme. 
a national park sticker. I already put this in my passport book, but I wanted to use this sticker down here. Some more Carlsbad Caverns and Guadalupe Mountains stickers, another like national park sticker, and some Carlsbad Cavern stickers. As for sticker books, I have this amazing Recollections Road Trip sticker book that I'm definitely going to be pulling for, and this Recollections um, like camping and hiking sticker book, and I have Recollections Travel sticker book. So we're going to see what we get into. And I hope you enjoy this scrapbooking sesh and I'm really excited to see how it turns out because I love doing these like adventure spreads. So you know, let's get into it. So like I said, I'm probably going to leave this scrapbook paper just like this. Um, it just says on the road again. It's a very cute scrapbook um, cover and I think it just kind of acts like a cover page for all of the spreads I'm going to do in later pages here. So we're going to leave that like that. And the first thing I want to do is probably put down some of these postcards. So maybe I'm thinking of having these two pages be the Carlsbad Caverns um, spread and then these two pages could be Guadalupe Mountains and then maybe this could be like anything else. I'm not sure. We shall see. So let's start off with doing the Carlsbad Caverns spread. So I have a bunch of postcards and stickers here. So let me pull it all out. pull all of it out. Um, I'll put the Guadalupe Mountain stuff um, to the side here. And then I have a bunch of these. I'll put these to the side. So these postcards, I'm going to set to the side for now. Oh, I really like this one. Ugh. This one's super cool too. Oh my god. I wish I could include like all of these postcards, but I don't think I can. <laughs> okay, so check out all these postcards that I have here. I wish I could include all four of these, but I don't know if I want to have that many postcards. Um, and I can can't even fit them all like on the page. I think it would be like really crowded. These are just so cool though. Okay, I think I might take this one out. I'll put this one elsewhere, but maybe something like this. I wish it didn't like cover. Um, I wish they didn't cover each other, but uh, let's see. See, I wish, I wish they didn't cover each other. I like how they are like crooked like this, but then they cover each other. If I don't want them to cover each other, I can kind of like put them like this. But then I feel like it looks really, um, it just doesn't look as cute, I think. Um, maybe like this. And then I have these stickers as well. Oh my goodness, I just have so much stuff that I want to put on this page. Okay, maybe I'll put a sticker aside for now. And then I have this hollow sticker. <gasps> and then I have this photo of Steven and I in front of the entrance. And then I have this photo of the Carlsbad Caverns um, National Park sign. And then I have that photo of the entrance to the Carlsbad Caverns. Okay, I have way too much stuff here. <laughs> I really want to include everything, but it's gonna be hard. I don't know if I'll be able to include everything. I'm gonna be really sad if I, you know, can't include everything. Okay, and from this moment on, I decided to do a voiceover because I just kind of zoned out and started just playing around with all the ephemera, photos, postcards, and stickers that I collected from Carlsbad Caverns and the Guadalupe Mountains National Park. This was such a great road trip, and I had so many memories from that trip. And I basically just played around with everything on the page until I liked how, um, how things were set up, and then I just just used my adhesive to tape it all down and I was really 
playing around with exactly how I wanted everything to be formatted but eventually I kind of got it into a format that I liked and I just really really love all of the postcards and pictures I was I managed to get at these national parks and then I sprinkled the camping stickers and hiking stickers and road trip stickers from my recollection sticker books throughout the pages and then actually I had so many um, pictures and stickers from Carlsbad Caverns that I decided to spill over onto a third page and something that I liked doing here was I cut out that picture of Steven because I didn't like the photo background that he was in in the actual photo but I liked these other photos and so I, I kind of ended up um, superimposing him on one of the uh, pictures that we took in the caverns and I actually really liked how that turned out. And I also plopped down a bunch of camping stickers and hiking stickers. And here I was trying to find room for this sticker um, from Carlsbad Caverns that I wanted to, you know, put in my planner somewhere. I really liked it. I just couldn't find a good place to put it. I ended up plopping it there in between the photo and the postcard and it covers Steven a little bit, but I couldn't fit it anywhere else. So I just had to put it somewhere. And then on the right hand page here is my first page for Guadalupe Mountains National Park. And I went with a postcard, a bunch of stickers and a journaling section. And actually I didn't have a lot of stickers and postcards and photos from Guadalupe Mountains National Park. We didn't spend as much time there as we did at Carlsbad Caverns. And so I had a lot less um, just, just paper crafting materials for Guadalupe Mountains. Um, but on the back here, we I ended up doing a spread of how we hiked up to the top of Guadalupe Mountain and then got some delicious barbecue after. And I just sprinkled camping stickers throughout. Okay, we are done here and oh my goodness that was that took a while that was an hour long My camera says that's been filming an hour and um, I'm so glad that I ended up cutting like three pages or like creating three pages um, Double-sided because I thought I was gonna you know, maybe only use two but then as I started to set everything up i quickly realized that i wanted to um, i wanted to expand into the third page and i could probably have um expanded even more into a fourth page but um i just had a lot i didn't realize how much i had but i love how it turned out so we have the on the road again cover and then this is the first um, two pages here and there is a little bit of glare because of the photos but I just love how this turned out. So the first two pages, the first three pages are from Carlsbad Caverns National Park. So I have the photo of the sign there. We have this beautiful road trip sticker because it did take about nine hours um, to drive from Austin to Carlsbad Caverns. We have this little stamp sticker that explains a little bit about the park. Park, and then I have a New Mexico sticker there because it is in New Mexico and then this cute photo of Steven and I um, that we took right before we um, went into the caverns and here's a clearer photo of that but the hole to get into the caverns is immense and you have to go down these winding stairs these winding switchbacks all the way into Carlsbad Caverns and it is fantastic a phenomenal park and then I put this beautiful postcard here. I love this art so much. The national parks often have like a vintage travel poster style of art for their postcards. And this is so beautiful and gorgeous and it's just amazing. I had to get this one. And then I just have a regular Carlsbad Caverns sticker here. And then another sticker, this one um, showing the Rock of Ages, which I actually have an actual photo of that right here. This is the Rock of Ages, which Steven took a lot of these photographs. Um, I'm really grateful for him because he likes to stop and take photos. And sometimes I just kind of like am in the moment and I don't take photos, but then I really appreciate when people take photos. <laughs> so I need to be better about taking photos but we have the Rock of Ages sticker there, another postcard. I love the vintage look. And then I just have a cute little Adventure Begins here sticker, kind of stylized in a compass situation. Another little description of Carlsbad Caverns. Um, this one is about the big room in Carlsbad Caverns, which is considered by many to be the most famous portion of a Carlsbad Cavern. It contains an endless variety of formations to delight the eye at every turn. And then just some cute little stickers here. And then 
And then we have a little scrapbooking um, journaling box here and then a photo of me that Steven took as we were making our way through Carlsbad Caverns and then just a cute little camera sticker there. And then on the third page, the last page of Carlsbad Caverns, I have another sticker here, the Temple of the Sun. These two photographs that Steven actually took, um, they turned out really, really cool. He has a great eye for photography. And then actually, this is really funny. I cut out Steven um, from another photo I had taken because I didn't like the background Around. I don't think my phone takes really good pictures and I think Stevens has like a better camera on his phone and so I like his photos better and so I just cut him out out of out of my photo that I took and I put him on top of this beautiful photo that he took so it looks better another Carlsbad Caverns sticker another <laughs> Carlsbad Caverns sticker I love this one it's holographic and then I just put some cute like camping and wilderness stickers sprinkled throughout, a little hiking boot and a um, camper there. And then on this page, we transitioned into Guadalupe Mountains National Park. I only had like two pages, well one page, but double-sided. I only had two pages to do um, Guadalupe Mountains National Park. And I feel kind of bad because I have so much more like Carlsbad the Cavern stuff and I don't want it to seem that like, you know, I don't care about Guadalupe Mountains. It was a beautiful park. I'll be honest though, it was, it's probably my least favorite national park that I've ever visited. But again, it's still very, very beautiful. We didn't spend too much time in Guadalupe Mountains, so that's why I don't have as many photos and stickers and stuff. Their visitor center also didn't have a lot of stickers and things, and so that's why I don't have a lot. But I have this beautiful postcard here showing El Capitan and Guadalupe Mountain, a cute little hiker sticker. This picture um, showing like the trails at the trailhead. I love taking trailhead photos. We actually ended up doing Guadalupe Peak Trail, which was 8.4 miles round trip. It was very strenuous, but we crushed it. We did it in four hours and a half. Um, we did it really, really quickly, just, but we were exhausted at the end of it. And then just the National Park sticker with the description of Guadalupe Mountains National Park, a hiking boot, and then the super cute happy camper sticker that's foiled. We did stay in an RV for Airbnb. We love like staying in RVs when we're traveling like this. We do try to camp when we can, but sometimes it's just easier to grab an Airbnb. And so we like finding like campers to give us that like RV, you know, camping experience. So I put that little happy camper sticker there. Another little description of Guadalupe Mountains National Park, a little mountain sticker. This beautiful sticker here, which is in kind of that same style that this postcard is in. It's kind of like that vintage, like um, old school travel poster, and it's a really cute sticker. So I popped that down there. I put some quote stickers and a happy trail sticker, and then this journaling box um, that I'll write a little bit about how our trip went. So that was that. And then the last page that we have here is kind of um, just like a little hodgepodge of the last couple of moments of the trip. So we did hike up Guadalupe Mountain and um, there's this like big triangular monument at the top and I actually took a photo with it here. This is the highest point in Texas, so that was awesome. And then right after we went to go, we went to go get barbecue because we were starving. And so this is Steven and our table filled with our food. And then I just sprinkled some um, outdoorsy stickers throughout this. I actually didn't have a lot of photos or stickers um, of, of, from Guadalupe Mountains left, so I just kind of sprinkled a bunch of these like hiking stickers. We have this Texas sticker from the road tripping book because um, Guadalupe Mountains National Park is in Texas. I put a hit the road and greetings from a road trip sticker, a hiking boot, just a map and this cute little wild and free sticker and then this sticker of a hiker and then lastly a little compass and take a walk on the wild side and I think I might try to um, actually like tilt this like this. There we go. I think that looks better. 
And that's it. So I really love how it turned out. I'm just so happy with how it looks. And I love having my scrapbooking and my home life planner because it allows me to just like relive these moments whenever I want. I don't have to like grab for like a whole scrapbook or whatever. Like when I'm just planning things out, I can just flip back to these pages whenever I feel like it and just remember how much fun this trip was. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for spending this time with me here today definitely let me know if you've been to carlsbad caverns or guadalupe mountains national park or what your favorite national park is i would love to know and i hope to see you in my next video so until then stay safe stay blessed and happy trails bye